Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. Today we begin the book of Esther. And the book of Esther most likely was a book that was written to encourage the exiles in Jerusalem as they struggled uh, there in the land with all the enemies around them. Uh, we can see how a book like the book of Esther would have encouraged them immensely. Uh, it's a book that shows God's providential hand at work to bring deliverance for the Jews in the kingdom of Persia and how he did it in a very mighty way. Uh, even though it was in a hidden way, it was a very powerful way in which God utilizes uh, key people, key characters to implement his deliverance for the Jewish nation. And uh, even though you don't see a lot of miracles, you don't see um, any parting of the sea or uh, you don't see any plagues being uh, exercised there in the land of Persia. Still, you can clearly see that God is working uh, through uh, Mordecai, through Esther, and through others to uh, bring about his plan and purpose, to bring about uh, a deliverance for his people in this particular situation. And some would criticize the book of Esther for this very fact, that the fact that you don't see Really, God mentioned, you don't see prayer, you see fasting, but not prayer specifically mentioned. You don't see miracles, you don't see anything like that. And so some would criticize the book of Esther, but I would say it makes it uh, very valuable to us. Because isn't it true that that's how God works in our lives most of the time? Uh, sure, there are those times in which God does work in a very grand way, and uh, he does bring about this, this powerful deliverance, and, and there's just no doubt that he... He was working, and we see that, we experience that, we're encouraged by that. But there's also times in which God works in a hidden way, in a very mysterious way, in a way that perhaps we don't even see him working or, or even perceive him working until after the fact. And we look back and we say, oh, wow, God's providential hand was at work uh, through this situation, and he brought me through it, and he, and he put key, key people in my life, he, he caused events to take place in just the right way to bring about uh, a, a good result for me and, and to uh, bring me through that dark time. And so what this book can do for us is encourage us in those times when we don't perceive God really actively at work uh, to, to remind us that just because we don't see it, just because we don't perceive it, just because it's not uh, some big grandiose miracle that we're experiencing doesn't mean that God's not working. Doesn't mean that God doesn't care. It doesn't mean that God's not going to bring out good in the situation that we're experiencing. So as we go through the book of Esther the next few days, let's be encouraged by that. And, and let's allow the book of Esther to really boister our faith and help us to put our trust in a God who, yes, sometimes works in a very obvious way, but also sometimes works in a very mysterious way, in a very hidden way. But in either way that he's working, he is working and he is uh, accomplishing good for our, on our behalf. So let's be encouraged by the book of Esther as we do our reading. With that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.